Monaco arrived at the Stade Saint-Symphorien, knowing three points would return them to the league and summit, provisionally at least. Camille Glick's thunderbolt to midweek against Bayer Leverkusen in the Champions League meant Leonardo Jardim's men were in better spirits against a mess side who had suffered just two defeats in their last six. One of those reverses came on their home patch two match days ago, although Philip Hinchenberger's side bounced back with victory at Montpellier a week ago. This, however, started badly for Metz in what proved to be a very long night. Thomas Lamar on hand to smash home the opener after just eight minutes. A complete muck-up at the back. And the home side punished. 20-year-old winger with his third of the season, having scored a brace against Rennes in week five. It was then a wonderful link-up play between Jean Matinho and Valère Germain. That undid Metz again. Wonderful combination and a wonderful strike. A first of the season for Germain, having returned from being on loan at Nice last season. Monaco were toying with the promoted side. And Bernard Silva gobbled up his second of the season. Five minutes before the break, a stunning dummy from Guido Carillo. And the Portuguese 2016 Euro winner, making it 3-0 at the break. Well, Metz hadn't beaten Monaco at home for over a decade, and that looked unlikely to change. Monaco had won five of the last six meetings in France's top two divisions and beaten them by more than three since 2006. Captain Cher Ducure tried to find a route back into the match, yet to score for the club, and only one Ligue 1 goal in his time for Lorient. Sadly, the only mark he made on the game was on the ankle of Kevin Ndoram. And that was his second sending off of the season. And things went from bad to worse. Germain clipped by Renaud Coad. And the referee pointing to the spot. It was the Brazilian Fabino to step up. And despite some missiles thrown onto the pitch, made no mistake beating Thomas de Dion. That is first since week four. Fourth of the season and third from the penalty spot. Down to 10 and without their captain, Metz fell apart. Carrillo, he took until the 16th week to open his account last season. Week eight, up and running. Lovely ball from Silva on the outside of his boot. And far too easy for the Argentine-born striker to make it five. Carrillo then managed to pick up a brace, sliding in to direct it into the empty net. Already scored half he managed last season in a single match. It was the first time in a decade Monaco had scored six against Metz, but there was still time for a seventh, and that secured Monaco's biggest ever away win from home in Ligue 1. Gabriel Bocilia with the impetus chip. The 20-year-old's second of the season, and rounding off the scoring, a stark message to leaders Nice and the rest of Ligue 1. Monaco in seventh heaven, with Metz condemned to a hellish evening that will long be in their nightmares.